Yo, we're back on the channel here. Brzezicki Brothers Performance. About to get to it. So, the last time uh, I had to order some parts. So, like every time you move to the next step, something always comes up, always needs something. Well, I ordered some things and some of the stuff came in. So, we're about to try and see if it will work. So, we're going to get right to it show you what they are so here let's have it so one of them was the o2 sensor the way i ran my harness um the passenger side harness didn't quite reach and i've heard problems and people said problems on the forums about extending the wiring and using the o2 harness extensions which i have right here got the extensions but they said the better option was to get the truck o2 sensor which as you can see has the gray stuff heat shield wrap around the wiring is a lot longer so i'm pretty sure that will work now i reach how i ran the harness so i won't have to rewire anything and this is the part number right there. Now this is for only on the passenger side. The driver side reaches. The white one is, I would say, the Mustang O2 sensor, but it came with the control packs. So some of the other stuff is how I was gonna route the power steering. See, I got some parts laying everywhere. So I originally was going to use this factory style from 05 to, I guess, whenever they stopped making power steering. I was going to put it right here in the factory slot, but intake hits it. So... I had to get this reservoir. As you can see, one comes out the side, one comes out the bottom, which is better suited for me is this one that comes out the bottom along with the power by the hour power steering reservoir bracket, which is a nice little piece, comes with all the bolts, takes all the guesswork out. So, this and that will go together. The cooling line. I'm going to try and use the factory 03 Cobra line as I already stated. Then with the intake, I got the 45 degree coupler, which I'm hoping works. I looked at it earlier and I don't know. I might have to get a less of a lesser of a degree one. But we're going to see here in a couple minutes, see if it works. And then we also got some spacers from SNS Engineering on Facebook. Make a swap kit for the Brembo's. Well, I already had the Brembo kit. And this just spaces the rotor out a little bit because the calipers weren't ground down yet. And I don't want to grind the rear of them down. Well, that's just some little stuff we got going on. But this is what it's looking like. Whole system's pretty much finished up. I'm going to get the intake on here in a little bit, see if that works out. Then we got some other stuff going on that my brother has going on. So, he got the front bumper back on, took off the old stock bumper support and put on a tubular one from, uh, I forget where he got it. I think Motion Race works. Trying to drop a little weight. And then we got some more. He ordered a brake kit from Bear to drop a little bit more weight. Racing brake kit. 
calipers look pretty sexy. Anodized red. Pretty detailed. Left and right. Comes with the braided brake lines. Another license plate cover. That's the bare brake kit that we're about to be installing on the race car right now. He's running the Brembos from the GT500. Because this was a non-Brembo car. Pretty bare bones GT. With the, I think the one year only color. Candy apple. So soon we'll have this brake kit on. So there you have it. Give you a little update on all the stuff that's going on here at the shop. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Let me know what you think about what we got going on here. And keep tuning in. It's just going to get real. Peace.